Speaker Pelosi and Wolf Blitzer had quite the exchange um, maybe a week ago, and um, this is how that went. As you know, there are Americans uh, who are being evicted from their homes. They can't pay the rent. Many Americans are waiting in food lines for the first time in their lives. Uh, can you look them in the eye, Madam Speaker, and explain why you don't want to accept the president's latest stimulus offer? Well, because, uh, thank you very much, uh, Wolf, and I, I hope you'll ask the same question of the Republicans about why they don't really want to meet the needs of the American people. It's a sword. It cuts both ways. So when you say to me, why don't you accept theirs, why don't they accept ours? So that they had to save lives, and now they will lose their jobs because but they really, McConnell they says really, let the states go bankrupt. Excuse me for let interrupting. Go why can't you give me the respect that I'm entitled to? I certainly respect you, but I also respect Ro Khanna. I respect Andrew Yang. I respect members of the Democrats who are members of the problem solvers. They want a deal because so many people right now. Either. But let's not go into that. Yeah, you evidently do that. not respect the chairman of the committees who I wrote these I respect, bills. I respect and I all wish of you. you would respect the knowledge that goes into getting uh, the, uh, the, the meeting the needs of the American people. But again, you've been on a jag defending the administration all this time with no knowledge of the difference between our two bills. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity to say that to you in person. Right, Madam Speaker, these are, these are incredibly difficult times right now. Uh, and we'll leave it on that note. Thank you so much yeah. for joining now, we'll us. We'll leave it on the vote that you are not right on this, Wolf, and I hate to say that to All you. Right. But I feel confident about it, and I feel confident about my colleagues, and I feel confidence in my chairs. And it's not about me. It's about millions of Americans who can't put food on the table, who can't pay the rent. Don't fuck with me, fella! When you're trying to stab me in the back? Forget it! I fought worse monsters than you for years in Hollywood. I know how to win the hard way. This ain't my first time at the rodeo. It's about millions of Americans who can't put food on the table, who can't pay the rent, who and are we having represent trouble, them. And who we are represent trouble them. getting and by we represent these them. long food and lines that we're seeing. I know you are. I'm, I'm just we saying. We represent them and we know them. As we, we say, know them. We, we represent them. Don't let yes. the perfect be the enemy of the good, as they say. It is nowhere near perfect. Madam Speaker. Always the case, but we're not even close to the good. All right, let's see what happens because every day is critically, critically important. Wow, that was quite an interview. The funny thing is that Wolf Blitzer doesn't like Donald Trump one bit. And um, he probably, oh my goodness. So what does that tell you? That it doesn't, I don't get it. Wow. This ain't my first time at the rodeo.